The streetcar's first major accident landed this silver sedan on a tow truck. Its front smashed in and bumper sitting on the roadway. Look both ways before crossing any intersection. Vanna Still was selling Red's gear on the street corner when he saw the streetcar pass them heading into the city northbound on Main Street. I noticed that this, this one did have a green light, but there was a car heading westbound. And I don't know if she was trying to beat the light or she wasn't paying attention. And the train tipped her on the front, front end of her car and drove her up into the pole. The front right side of the streetcar was also damaged and crews worked to repair what they could on site. When it is taken to the shop, they will take a look, make sure that all the safety features of the streetcar are fine. If there's any uh, repairs that have to be done, they'll have, be, have to be assessed at that point. And while witnesses say there should be more warning for the streetcar at intersections, drivers also have to pay more attention. It cannot stop on a dime. It's a 40-ton vehicle, and so you have to give it a little bit of extra room. So again, don't try to turn in front of the streetcar and just be a little extra careful when you're driving in that area. The driver of the streetcar was not injured, and per state law, he will have to take a mandatory drug and alcohol test. The driver of the car, she was alert and talking on scene, but taken to the hospital for precaution with just minor injuries. Cincinnati police have not said if either will be cited in this crash. Reporting live downtown, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5.